Okay, this is my toggle gate tutorial. This is the second version. I made the first one a long while ago. It was a terrible mic and the audio was just terrible in general. So I'm remaking it now, now that I've got a new mic. So the gate we're going to be looking at is in wire. It's under gate memory and it's the toggle edge triggered. There is also a toggle wire edge triggered but I don't know much about that as I've never used it. So we're just going to use the toggle edge triggered. <coughs> we're also going to need a button which is under here. Uh, basically just need a button, doesn't toggle, just goes from 0 when off to 1 when on. <laughs> We're also going to need a constant value with two values. Uh, I'm just going to use 5 and 80 because they're what's there. And we're just going to need a screen so we can see what's happening. So if we have a look, we have the clock. This is basically going to tell it when to toggle. If we send a 1 to this, it will switch it will toggle the values. Uh, only when it changes from 0 to a 1. If you keep sending it a 1, it won't keep flipping backwards and forwards. So we're going to send that to our non-toggled button so we can send a 1. And then the on value and the off value are the values it's going to toggle between when you use clock. Now it starts on. Then when you press, then when you send a 1 to clock by pressing the button in our case, it will switch to off. When you do it again, back to on. Then it'll just off, on, off, on. So we're going to send the on to 5, and we're going to send the off to 80. And then we're going to say that, and as you can see, it started on 5, which was our on value. And then if I now press that, it's gone to 80, back to 5, 80, 5, 80, 5. That's all there is to it, it's fairly simple. And you can just use it, You can if you're sticking in logic or gate, with logic or and then if we just grow another button if we set the clock to the R and set the R to both buttons just A to one, B to another uh, you can also chain these together then if I press that it'll switch to 80 back to 5 I press this 80 back to 5 so both of them can toggle that value so that's good for a door if you want a button on either side as um, I said, you can just chain the alls together, as many as you want. Um, that's all there is to it. It's a fairly simple gate, this. So, go and have a see what you can build with it. 